So be honest with me, okay? Do you ever feel like Instagram or YouTube is super saturated and competitive and you're like, there's no hope for someone like me? Okay, so I just wanna tell you that that's a complete bullshit lie. I believe that the market is saturated. Yes, there is a lot of people in posting content just like you, but there is a way to stand out. And I wanna tell you guys my tips and tricks that I've learned to stand out in a market that's so noisy. And there is a way to make it happen. If you wanna know more, all you gotta do is keep on watching. Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome to my channel. My name's Jade and you're watching the Ask Jade Show where you guys ask me questions and I answer anything about social media. So basically, one week ago, I had a Portland meetup. I basically asked a lot of you guys to come meet me at a tea bar shop to talk about social media and this is what happened. All right guys, so currently I'm walking to the meetup. No one's filming for me today, so I'm kind of a little bit nervous because I don't know why, but the city of Portland is obviously where I'm from. So I had like some really negative feelings because because like, you know, the people at my school would live here and like I felt like they were gonna make fun of me, which is so irrational, I know. But um, yeah, I'm gonna meet you guys at this tea bar shop that I absolutely love. I'm really freaking hungry. So let's go get this bread. <laughs> what are you guys doing? What are you guys doing here? We're meeting um, you. Oh, you are meeting me. I'm so loud in this tea bar. when I was like approaching the tea bar I, I didn't even know if people were gonna churn out but there was people you guys are absolutely insane I want to thank you to anyone who came up to my meetups in the past and any of the ones in the future I just wish I will meet you all but yeah that's what happened so throughout the meetup I've noticed that a lot of you guys are youtubers and Instagrammers and the hardest thing to do is trying to really like grow each at the same time or even if you're someone who just has a platform you just feel like it's too competitive like it's just too much noise so the first question we got was from Clark Clark actually asked me, you know, how to collaborate. This is what he said. And there's so many ways that you can collaborate with people, even if they have nothing to do with the type of industry that you're trying to focus on. Like I know Jade's all about social media and helping teach people. I'm all about athletics and outdoor adventure, but we are still able to collaborate together and go on some adventures together. Honestly, Clark, I 100% agree. When I was living in Portland by myself in high school, a year ago, I didn't have any friends to make content with. I would to force my mom to take pictures of me or I would just use a tripod and self-timer. Now here's the honest truth. If you're looking for someone to collaborate with, it's actually not that far. I think right now, especially with everyone wanting to be an influencer, there's someone out there that you wanna work with. But remember this, it's not about just someone. You wanna find someone that you can work with that gives benefit to your audience. For example, I'm not talking about how to get someone with more followers to help you out. What I'm trying to say is if you have an audience and you know someone else also has an audience and by working together, it can bring value to those group of peoples, that's what I call a true collab. Collaborations that align in the mission and in the demographics are crucial. So what does this mean? What I would do is simple as just picking a niche. I know that's really, really tough in the very beginning, but here's a strategy I wanted to share from my friend, Charlie. So as Charlie is someone I actually interviewed um, and I got a chance to sit down with him in Manhattan Beach, California three days ago, and it's completely changed my life. Charlie is someone who actually managed two chains before. He's an incredible marketer in the industry, and now he is a entrepreneur and athlete. Like, this kid is amazing. So he actually taught me something called the boiled water technique, and I wanna share what it means. So what I did, how did I break two chains? I had this philosophy where I want to boil a pot of water. That's my goal, because the goal is to be hot. The record producer, you wanna be hot. Product, YouTube channel, the goal is to be hot. Now, if that person, were to go out and to try to boil a lake, would it be possible? No. You'd spend the rest of your life trying to figure out how to boil a lake. But if, if, if we got a pot of water and put water in it and put the flame on, can you boil it? Yes. Now what if we added a little bit of water to it instead of made a little pot of water, made a big pot of water? Yeah. Will that boil? Right. Then add a little bit of water to that, now it's a large pot of water. Okay. Now it's boiling. Then a little bit more water, and every time it boils, you can add a little bit of water and it will speed up the process of boiling the bigger pot of water. Right. So technically you can work your way all the way up to a lake. So think about it. Boiling a lake is extremely hard. You're not going to freaking make the water hot by such a mass of water. But if you take a small pot and you boil that water and you keep adding more water, you're able to heat up the lake. So similar to you guys, you're not gonna boil up the industry. You wanna stand out on Instagram, you wanna collaborate with people, you're not gonna get everyone tomorrow by boiling it all at once. 
You need to pick a small niche, pick a group of people you can help, make that water hot, and then expand. So Clark, if you're trying to collaborate or if you're trying to really just kind of stand out, it's as simple as picking a niche and just nurturing that small group. So Clark actually now makes content just about college football and sports rather than just making random shit because you can always do that after and expand, but in the very beginning, niching down is crucial. And in regards to collaborating, once you niche down and you pick a niche, then it's so much easier to collaborate with people. So once you understand maybe, you know, who you are and the content you make and you pick a niche, then you can literally go onto your suggested channels and collaborate with those people on the right-hand side. I would actually really look at my suggested channels on this video because those are people that probably I could collaborate with. Those are people that I'm, I actually am friends with some of them. And the reason why is because our audience is aligned or maybe that we have similar personalities. It's super simple. Like let the algorithm do the work for you. So often your explore page or the content you have is just people that are similar to you. That's why the algorithm is there. It's a simple little hack, but let, let's try this out together. For example, you pick shopping, that's gonna be the boiling water you choose. Then you go onto these Instagrammers and you DM these people that are on your explore page. Hey, I make similar content to you. Let's collaborate on this idea I have. I think it'll be beneficial to your audience because X, Y, Z. That's how you get people to collaborate because you honestly did your research and you know how you can help them, not just yourself. So you guys can use a script that I put down. I'll link below if you want to check it out. It's super simple. I think step one, pick a niche, pick the hot boiling water that you kind of dominate and that you're really good at. Second thing, go on your freaking suggested or explore page and just find users that make similar content than you that you could help or bring value to and then shoot them a DM. I think that's one of my biggest things is not to work too hard. You don't have to like go there and scatter the world. Just look in between your own suggested content or even suggested channels. And that's a great way to connect with people without feeling so lonely. Okay, so I know that was a complex answer. I actually have a quick question from Brandon. He asks, how do you pivot from content if you maybe are known for one thing and you wanna be known for another thing? For example, maybe you got popular because of fashion. That was your niche. And then you wanna add more boiling water into another different pot. So how do you expand and grow your audience once you pick one? And I uploaded a video saying like I was gonna transition into fashion, and I got good response to that, but like my video, sorry, my videos on that channel haven't been doing so well. Uh, my latest video has like 20 views. How long did you pivot? Like how long was that, from music to fashion, how fast did you change? So I had like music content on the channel for like a year or something. Mm -hmm. But like I didn't upload that much, just like whenever like a new track or something. Oh, okay, yeah, that and makes sense. And then I uploaded the video saying I was gonna transition to fashion, and then I uploaded consistently for like three months, and then I kind of. I don't up. think it's actually that. I think it's the inconsistency. It wasn't the pivot. Some people when they pivot, it's so yeah. off brand. But I don't think that was it. I think it was the inconsistency. Honestly, the real truth, and you're not gonna like this. There's only one answer to this. It takes mother freaking time. Like to really pivot from one topic to another and make your audience follow takes a lot of time. I would estimate six months. Actually, one of my YouTuber friends is currently going through her transition because she used to do skits and now she has to do, you know, vlogs. And, you know, going from an acting phase to like almost like a lifestyle video is kind of a change and shocking to the audience. And if you don't do it over time, people can subscribe or people can leave. So my biggest thing is try to make, you know, one for me, one for you. You make one video that you like, one video that, you know, you got popular for, and you keep reiterating this pattern. And that's a way to kind of over time transition one topic to another. Same with Instagram. You post one picture that you get popular for, like a meme, and then you do another that's a selfie. Just mix shit up and make it fun for you. You don't have to always do shit because it gets likes. That's my number one thing. Just make something fun and creative for you. So we actually have one more question on this show, but before you go, because I have an announcement. So you guys know that currently I'm actually in Seoul, Korea. Go check out my vlog channel below where I'm documenting my journey throughout traveling alone at 17. It's quite crazy. And as I was traveling, some of you might not know, but I'm going on meetups in Asia when I'm here. So if you're someone that maybe doesn't know what niche to pick or you don't know who to collaborate with, come to a meetup and we'll get your questions answered. You're gonna find like-minded people. Go click the link below to sign up. There's literally one meetup this Saturday, so go. Come, I, I'd love to meet you in Seoul. I'd love to meet you in Bali and Jakarta, and there'll be a lot more. So go check the link below if you just wanna drag it out. So lastly, at the Portland meetup, I have a question actually asking, you know what, Jade? People do the same thumbnails, the same video ideas. You know, how do you truly stand out? Now you can follow my ideas about, you know, how to pick up a niche or how to really find the explore page hacks. 
but the real truth of it, how to really grow, you know, in a saturated market is simple. Sorry, my camera just died, so we had a dramatic pause, but if you're so far enjoying this video, hey, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe. Um, I love to have you on the Dharma Nation. I don't know if you did that before, but that'd be super cool. Um, but going back to the question, how to truly stand out is yourself. I'm so sorry, this is a simple answer. You need to be able to show your story. How are you different than everyone else? Yes, you make similar content. Yes, you have similar presets and filters like someone else or maybe you have similar thumbnails and titles and shit the way you make it different is your story what are you telling people that's different than someone else your story time tell people tell your audience about your struggles your failures your goals you don't even have to have a dramatic story time you just need to be yourself if you're truly able to express authenticity on your account and being yourself and being real that's how you stand out in a saturated market. There's a reason why um, I share a lot of my life to you guys because I know that giving value and tips and tricks only go so far. Most people want to build relationships. So I think that's a key thing. You know, telling your story is the only way to stand out. So the next time you make a piece of content, ask yourself, what type of story do I want to tell people? And second of all, a question I always ask myself is how does a story relate to someone's problems? How can I relate to someone? How can I make sure this makes sense and I'm not just like blasting out random things? So I hope that gives you clarity on how to stand out. It's simple. It's not actually that fucking hard. It's just hard to open up and be vulnerable. And if you're able to actually just be like, you know what? I don't give a shit about my ego. I don't care about how perfect I am. I just want to give my content out. I want to be there for the world and have impact. That's when you're able to grow. It's truly that and not everyone's able to do that. So going back to my video, I hope you guys enjoyed the Ask Jade show. Hey, go leave a comment below if I didn't answer your question. I'd love to get back to it. And I'm also in Korea right now. So I'm actually gonna be following up my journey through my vlog. So go subscribe to my vlog channel. And I'm kind of nervous for the, the Korea meetups because I don't know if anyone lives here that much. So make sure uh, you can maybe share this video to someone that you know that would live here or that you would think that would get value. I think it's important to just grow this family and I love to see you in real life. And I can't wait to just eat some Korean food because I'm hungry. All right, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next one shout out to the comment winner shout out to the comment winner comment on this post to be featured in the next episode if you want to be the next comment winner go comment below a question a concern let me know your thoughts again i'm really starving so i better get some food before i go hangry y'all don't want to see me hangry catch you guys in the next one <laughs> goodbye